students let's learn today cubes and cube roots and let's explore some interesting patterns in cube numbers so let's get started from the geometrical shape cube and you know that cube is a geometrical shape and it has three dimensions and all those three dimensions are equal but how this cube is related to that cube number yes it is related to that cube number when we are getting the volume of that cube we are getting the product of all those three dimensions and as we know that all these three dimensions are equal that means to get the volume we have to find the product of that each side three times that is a cube number and what is a cube number now that means when we are getting the product of a number by itself three times that is a cube number the resulting number is the cube number and when it is a natural number it is called a perfect cube let us start from some properties of perfect cubes these are the cube of natural numbers that means these are the perfect cubes do you know the cube of odd number is odd and even number is always even this is one of the property next unit digit of a cube number these are the cube numbers these are the cube numbers are you observing some pattern yes when the unit digit is 1 the unit digit of the cube number also ends with 1 and when it is 2 its unit digit ends with 8 in this way we are getting this unit digits of the cube numbers and are you observing 1 4 5 6 and 9 all these are the same digits only and 2 and 8 are exchanged for 2 it is 8 and for 8 it is 2 and from 3 it is 7 and 7 it is 3 and for 0 it is triple 0 always when a number ends with 0 that means its cube number always ends with triple zeros cubes as a sum of odd numbers how odd numbers are related to that cube numbers 1 is 1 cube after 1 Three plus five. These are the two odd numbers. When we are adding these two numbers, we are getting two cube. Now let us add some next odd numbers. Seven plus nine plus eleven. That is equal to three cube. Now let us add four odd numbers after eleven. Yes, we are getting four cube. Then five odd numbers. We are getting five cube, and so on. So each cube number is a sum of next set of consecutive odd numbers but how can we get the starting odd number because it is not starting from one as a square numbers so to get the starting number we have one expression that is n into n minus 1 plus 1 that means how to express cube numbers as a sum of odd numbers 6 cube 6 cube equal to it starting from 31 the sum of 6 odds so what is the starting odd number 6 into its back number 6 fives are 30 plus 1 that is equal to 31 8 cube 8 cube what is the starting first we have to find the starting odd number after that how which odd which cube number that is we have to add that many odd numbers That means fifty-seven. How we are getting eight into seven plus one. That is equal to fifty-seven. So starting from fifty-seven, all those eight odd numbers, the sum is eight cube. Is there any pattern to find the difference between two consecutive cubes? Two cube minus one cube. That is equal to seven. Three cube minus two cube equal to nineteen. Four cube minus three cube equal to thirty-seven. So is there any pattern? Yes. Now let us. find the pattern that is the base numbers find the product of those base numbers and multiply 3 and add 1 we are getting the difference between these two consecutive cube numbers next 3 cube minus 2 cube how to get 3 into 2 into 2 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 that means into 3 plus 1 is common for all Now next one is four into three into three plus one that is equal to thirty-seven. Now can you get 
वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नाइन क्यूब एंड एट क्यूब एट इंटू नाइन इंटू थ्री प्लस वन इंटू थ्री प्लस वन इज कॉमन फॉर ऑल नाउ इट इज टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटीन इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनी टू कंजिक्यूटिव क्यूब्स नाउ कैन वी रिलेट क्यूब्स एंड स्क्वायर्स डू यू नो द सम ऑफ फास्ट एंड क्यूब नंबर इज इक्वल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ सम ऑफ फास्ट एंड स्क्वायर नंबर सॉरी नेचुरल नंबर हाउ इट इज सी वन क्यूब इक्वल टू वन स्क्वायर एज वी नो दैट द क्यूब वन इज अ परफेक्ट क्यूब ऑल्सो एंड परफेक्ट स्क्वायर ऑल्सो नाउ वन क्यूब प्लस टू क्यूब इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू होल स्क्वायर नाउ नेक्स्ट वन क्यूब प्लस टू क्यूब प्लस थ्री क्यूब दैट इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री होल स्क्वायर वन क्यूब प्लस टू क्यूब प्लस थ्री क्यूब प्लस फोर क्यूब दैट इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर होल स्क्वायर इन दिस वे द सम ऑफ फर्स्ट एन क्यूब नंबर इज इक्वल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ सम ऑफ फर्स्ट एन नेचुरल नंबर डिजिटल रूट ऑफ ए क्यूब नंबर डू नो वट इज डिजिटल रूट वन वी आर फाइंडिंग द सम ऑफ द डिजिट एट लास्ट वी आर गेटिंग द डिजिट दैट इज द डिजिटल रूट ऑफ दैट नंबर हियर दीज आर द क्यूब नंबर दीज आर द क्यूब नंबर लेट एस फाइंड द डिजिटल रूट आर यू गेटिंग एनी पैटर्न येस द पैटर्न इज अलवेज वी आर गेटिंग एट नाइन One eight nine, one eight nine, one eight nine. In this way, we are getting always one eight nine, and in the sequence, always we are getting in this sequence only one eight and nine. So the digital root of any cube number is either one eight or nine. Is it not interesting? Hope everyone enjoyed learning. Thank you.